It is September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, it makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. I'm home again after 10 years absence. I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I should light some candles and take a look around. No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? He vanished a decade ago without so much as leaving a letter. The house feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot define. The memories will come back. That's what they told me. Maybe then I will realize what happened to my father. Upstairs. What could it be? I thought the window was bolted shut. Ah! Hey, what are you doing here? This is private property. Who the devil is he? Where the hell did he go? Hey, you still here? I better take a look. He pointed at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. The light is coming from the inside, but the door's locked? Maybe I can find something to cut through the chain. this. yourself in? Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you! <laughs> if I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in an asylum. table upstairs.
box is where it should be. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. You've got to be kidding me. Fuck. Mom, the baby hears everything, even in the womb. So we will make a great agent, just like Dad. Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. As if there was one drawer. Nope, nothing in here. I can't find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Oh, <sighs> typical. Writing entails a clarity of thought, it makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. I'm home again after ten years' absence. I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I should light some candles and take a look around. No trace of my father. Upstairs. What could it be? The house feels strange. Even the devil is he. Where the hell did he go? Hey! You still here? I'd better take a look. He pointed at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. The light is coming from the inside, but the door's locked? Maybe I can find something to cut through the chain. Maybe there's another way in. Damn it, I can't open it. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. I have to get in there. Whatever happened, I hope it's not my father's blood. What the hell? 
is that? Looks like... Oops. I need to get these upstairs. What does he want from me? Has someone gone through my briefcase? Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma! I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. W what A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on her mother's flower bed. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Fuses. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. <laughs> 